Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some of Helium 10's features. They reached out to me and I am officially a partner. I'm in affiliation with Helium 10. So I will have some discount codes for you guys. Um, very exciting stuff. I have been like a total novice to this. Everyone's been telling me to check it out. Um, and thankfully they actually just reached out to me and said, Hey, we'd like to show you some of our tools. Um, would you be interested in checking it out? I said, sure. They got me on a call, went over everything they have. And I'm like blown away. I'm, I've been using some of this stuff. One of their tools first try found me my next Amazon product. I already have a sample coming in and, um, please disregard the messages up there. My sister texts me. I haven't turned off the notifications. Um, yeah, I got, um, a sample coming in from a product I'm using. That's what actually what we're going to be going over this call. So if you don't have Helium 10 yet, let's just go over the pricing really quick because it is a little bit of a more advanced tool. It's not going to be for everyone, but it does have, where is the pricing even at? Support something here. Okay, plans. Bang. There we go. Found it. Cool. So I actually have two discount codes. Now, if you click into the description right below this video you could literally keep watching this if you're on mobile just scroll down hit the little drop down button underneath where the likes are shown you'll see my description there will be a custom helium 10 link that says helium 10 paul savage and if you type in savage 10 um, there will be a bar right here to type it into and it'll also explain it on the link you type in savage 10 you'll have 10 percent off forever so it's, it's normally $97. You're going to be getting it for $87 per month forever. Okay. Um, if you type in Savage 50, you can get the first month 50% off. So you could just pay $47 for one month. Um, and then it'll go back up to the higher price after that. So you do some math in your head. If you're planning on staying on, you're a committed Amazon seller, I'd probably take the 10% forever discount. Um, if you really just wanna try it out and go from there, you could use the Savage 50 code. So it'd be just like this, right? I actually used my own code, Savage 10, right there, cool. So now that we know what it is, let's actually go back. We'll go back to their homepage and I'll show you how to find your next Amazon product. I generally, like I said, I'm not huge into using software all the time. I like kind of just going to Amazon, doing a lot of organic research there. Um, but this tool is undeniable, guys. Um, and don't think that this in any way affects, you know, I've obviously had a huge um, push for Jungle Scout. And I still love Jungle Scout. This, this is something totally separate. They're two different softwares, and you almost can't treat them like the same thing. I'm personally going to continue to use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension um, and even some features in their web app because I'll show you once we get into the research. Um, there's something that I do like better. But this, this is undeniable for so many different things. And this whole week coming up, I'm going to have several videos because I haven't covered any of these things. There's some really, really impressive software um, in here that I'm going to be able to show you. So let's get right into it without further ado. Here's black box. So if you come into helium 10 and you click on black box right here, it's the first option. There's actually a product research tool. Now this is going to look pretty, um, pretty normal to you guys. So you could select categories, monthly revenue. This is, you know, if you're coming from jungle scout, this would be similar to the, like what the web app was. Okay. So this is like product database. Um, and I'll try to stop making so many comparisons to Jungle Scout and just kind of have an open mind here. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is actually this little tab right here that says keywords. Um, I'm almost weary of showing you guys this because of how powerful it is. Like this, I've almost never had the thought of I shouldn't show people this because it might compete with myself. But I do feel that urge here. I'm like, this is so incredible. Guys, if you're watching this, you can start selling on Amazon if you do this, like no doubt. Go, like I took so long to get this, but I wish I had found out sooner. You go grab down in the description, sign up today. This like, this is ridiculous guys. So let's, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So what this allows you to do is you can search for products like that have search demand, but no one is fulfilling. That is the, success formula for an Amazon seller. We want to be able to find products that people want, but there's a hole in the market. That's my whole philosophy in business is find the hole in the market, differentiate yourself, put yourself in a position that no one has yet so that the customers just have no other option but you. They just go crazy. And what we can do here is search volume. Let's say there's people, there's a thousand searches per month for a keyword, right? So there's a thousand, minimum of a thousand. So 
this phrase will be searched for 1,000 times or more. And let's just say for review count, there's a max average review in the market of 150. So we're gonna keep those reviews still nice and low so we have pretty low competition. And then word count, this is actually where you get to establish what the phrase would be like. So garlic press, that would be two. So if you put a minimum of two, that would show up. I'll generally go two. One would be too broad, right? I, I can't rank for like tool or like belt. That's too broad. Two, you can start getting custom, right? Like silicone sponge or something. So that's how, how long your phrase will be. And I'll usually cut it off at around five. All right, so five would be like, all right, stainless steel garlic press press, right? I, I ran out of words, but you, you know what I mean. So that's the length of your phrase. And then right here is your categories. And now this software does have like a slightly minimalistic view, um, which I almost think is in a way more advanced. Like they don't like, it doesn't seem like it's oversimplified. Um, so there's tons of stuff you can do here. And again, this may even come off as a more complicated software. Um, but I think you can get the hang of it pretty quickly. All right, there's a lot of options. So having you know someone like myself to go over what all these things mean might be helpful. Um, because if I didn't have you know someone that showed me everything that they were offering, I would just get overwhelmed too. It's a very, very big piece of software that they're offering here, which is why it comes at a higher price tag, right? It's you know $87 a month, that's an investment, but what's your return gonna be on that, right? You could spend $87 a month on freaking you know new pair of tennis shoes, I don't know never going to make money back off of that. That's for sure. So I'm just, you know, kind of like selecting some categories here. So we got baby. I'm just like doing all the main ones. So we're going to do arts, crafts and sewing, baby, beauty and personal care, like health, home, home and kitchen, industrial scientific. We could really like do like pretty much all of these. And like, maybe we won't do, no, I guess those are all good. I like all these. Cool. Um, and then right here, um, where was it? So competing, okay, right here. Competing products, we're going to do 50, right? So how long have I been saying, try and find markets that have less than 50 competitors? Just kind of, it's almost like basic math, right? If there's less competitors, there's naturally less competition. No matter how good they are, you're still gonna be able to compete kind of thing and that doesn't work entirely but it is a good thing to go by so now look what we've done here we've actually set up so that there's a there's a search volume of a thousand people or a thousand searches per month for a phrase that's two to five words that the average review count is 150 and that the there are a competing products there's only you know 50 competing products let's go ahead and hit search on that um, and then I'll show you another way you could actually do this too. So what this does, again, we're doing keyword searches. So it's not gonna show you pictures. It's gonna show you keywords. So a mortal man toy. So that's a three word phrase. Um, price is kind of low, monthly revenue, but here's this is why I'm excited about this one. Actually, <laughs> just the first one it's shown. So there's a search volume of 1,030. So 1,030 separate people, or maybe some people have searched it more than once have searched for this product, but the average reviews is 11 and they're two and a half stars, but there's doing monthly revenues of 5,000 and monthly sales of six, 660. It may be beneficial actually that the price is only 999 because maybe if you're beginning, you could start this product and it only costs a dollar, but you could sell it for 10. I'm in no way against doing stuff like that, right? I'm not like, oh, I'm only gonna sell 40 bucks. Hey man, if I can make money, I'm gonna sell the thing, okay? Like, let's just get down to it and say it like that because I really could care less what the cost is. If there's a profit and there's demand, I'm gonna sell it. Um, so we're just kind of busting out of these generic criteria here and just really looking at it for what it is. Let's get rid of my cart here. I got some espresso in there. I, just, I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here, now that we're actually on this market, this will this will give me a good um, good place to show you what this tool is capable of. So I, like I said, here we could go over this. I still like to use Jungle Scout, and I'll tell you why in a second. Oh my God! Like this this market is just like, are you seeing this? Like I don't even like maybe I should just edit this out. 
10 reviews, two reviews, three reviews, four reviews, seven reviews. Look at the revenue, 26,000 with four reviews, 12,000 with two reviews, 6,000 with 17,000 with seven reviews, 20,000 with 39 reviews and they have three stars. Oh my God, this is good. Okay, we'll just end the video. Um, it's been good knowing you guys. Let's all race to source this. <laughs> no, I don't know. So here is X-Ray, right? So you also get this tool. A lot of you may be familiar with this. Let me show you the differences here. So here's my only complaint, Helium 10, if you're listening. You hover over the... It, it, oh, okay. Wow, never mind. I've been shut up. So I swear to God, I was hovering over the ASINs the first time I used this and they weren't showing the picture. And I was like, that's like, you know, that's kind of an issue because how am I supposed to know like what this one is versus this one unless I have to, you know, go back and forth to the listings. Like you just hover over the title here and it does that. Um, but they actually have done that. So you could use either. I mean, honestly, if you have Jungle Scout and you're used to it, just use this. I probably will keep doing that, but they, we could go over this. Um, and no, let's, I'm, I'm just getting too sidetracked because I'm excited about this product. Let's go over these numbers first of all. Why don't we sort by monthly re, uh, revenue? Um, so we'll get rid of the ridiculously high ones that are just sponsored and incorrect. Um, so we're actually starting somewhere like this. Um, and then what was that? Where did I just see that? Is that this? Okay. That guy should get out of there. Cool. So these are all the right products now. Um, and why don't we just run a checklist really quick? So do seven out of the first 12 have monthly sales higher than 300? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 out of 12 have more than 300 sales per month. Do seven out of 12 have reviews less than 75? 12 out of 12, again. Do seven out of 12 have a, you know, I, I think we could just stop because look how good, like, I don't even want to keep doing that. Clearly it's amazing. It's very, very low competition and very high demand. Um, we have to seriously solve an issue because there is someone making $17,000 a month with two reviews, someone making 16 with three, and then 19,000 with three, and they're bad reviews. So what is happening? What's going wrong? First of all, their first picture is just embarrassing. Like, you don't need to put Amazon Prime, like don't put a sticker on the first picture. All time, so how long have they been selling? They've only been selling since October, um, and they've just been crushing it right since they launched. Um, that's pretty, pretty crazy. Wow, so yeah, that is black box keyword method. Um, I think that's a fun place to leave off. I mean, if you wanna go find more, like just <laughs> go use my discount code. I do get a bit of a kickback for that, so hey, I appreciate that greatly. Uh, but if not, I think they do have like some free trials you could use up, but yeah, go find some products, guys. I know I'm personally gonna get back to some product research and like just looking at this has me excited. Um, so yeah, that's Black Box by Helium 10. We were using the Amazon phrase research method. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Let's try and hit 150 likes on this video. If you guys can do that for me, that'd be amazing. And about 80% of you, according to my statistics, are not subscribed. So if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. It helps me out a ton as I'm growing as a small YouTuber. So thanks guys. I'm gonna keep bringing the free content, making sure you guys are up to date with all things Amazon FBA. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. Later.